Go and see the type of salaries they draw. <clears throat> see how well they're paid. What are they crying for? Go to England and see how well they live in England. How well they live in France. Yes, how well they live in Germany. Yes, there's some little persecution in Russia. Mm -hmm. But even there, That's right. they ain't in too bad a shape. That's right. Go and look in South Africa and see how they live in South Africa. Right. See how they live in Mexico, in Guatemala, in Argentina, in Chile. In Peru, they live well wherever they are on the earth. But well, why are they crying? They cry in anticipation of the arrival of the one whose garments they've been wearing. And they know. And they know that when the world awakens to what they have done, yes, sir. they might have to pay a terrible price. Who? Who is the one? Who are the people that are to come? to challenge their place. Who are these people? Where are they? They have so deceived the Christian world that the Christians know that the Jews don't believe in Jesus. But the Christians are literally handcuffed saying that they are the choice of God and if we bother them, God will get after us. Right. So the Jew can come in the church That's right. and don't believe in Jesus. But the Muslim will be left outside the church and we believe in Jesus. That's how they got us all crazy. Yes, sir. Now, showdown time. Yes, sir. All the while that this is going on, you don't know nothing about what's happening. All you know is you got birthed in America from black people. Your mama black, your father black, and you just catching hell, you know. I don't understand all of this, but I know I'm under something. Yes, sir. <laughs> but now, when the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is raised among us, and he said, brothers, sisters, you're not catching hell because you are evil. You're catching hell because somebody recognizes who you are, you're the heir of the vineyard. Uh-oh. Heir of the vineyard. What are you talking about, Farrakhan? Poor and ragged as we are? <laughs> heir of what vineyard? What are you talking about, man? Make it plain. <laughs> or is that some more hot air? could I, a black man, a Negro, a Negro, a whatever, how could I be the heir of the vineyard? That's what Are you a stone that all the builders have rejected? Yes, when they sit down and talk about government and civilization, do they invite you in? You not even a spook that sat by the door. You a spook that don't know where the door is to sit down. They're not caring nothing about you. What did Allah say in the Bible? I will choose the despised and
and the rejected, a foolish people. Jews ain't never been foolish. Not since they met Moses, they have never been what you would call a foolish people. Yet, you can say they're foolish in that they rejected the way of God through the prophets, which is a foolish thing to do, which they'll see it now. But their wisdom of wickedness, they are not like your foolishness. Your and my foolishness has been so non-productive. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just an outright foolish fool who is not producing anything of value for yourself or your people. Now that's foolish. That's right. I'm not trying to put us down. But this is the way the Bible describes us. You know what the height of folly is? When God tells you that the first law is self-preservation. And you running around trying to preserve everybody else to the neglect of yourself. Now that's foolish. Wouldn't you agree? How many times have we fought for America and how many times have we fought for ourselves? All right. Come on. Isn't that foolish? Here we fought in the Revolutionary War, brother, that made America America. They got their independence from England. You and I still dependent on white folks, still singing, we shall. What? Isn't that kind of foolish? Yes, sir. Did you know that we fought in the Civil War? Yes, sir. We begged white folk. That's right. Let us fight on the side of the North against the South. And there were some in the South fighting against the North. There were over 400,000 black soldiers in the Civil War. Lincoln was trying to preserve the Union. After the North won, the Union was preserved. Where was our Union? All right. When did we ever have any kind of Union? When did we ever fight to produce a Union in order to fight to preserve a Union? On, you have never done this. Right. Why? Foolish. It's foolish to work for somebody else and do nothing for yourself. That's foolish. But God said, I'm going to choose a foolish people. All right. A people who are no people at all. And I'm going to be their God. All right. And they will be my people. Yes, sir. I'm choosing them. For what? Why are you choosing them? I got work for them to do. Yes, sir. You got work for me, God? You remember the parable that Jesus made? He said to his disciple, go. You find a mule That's right. and a colt tied. Untie them and bring them to me. That's right. If any man asks you, just tell him I have need of them. That's a heavy picture. Yes, sir. You'd call that stealing, wouldn't you? <laughs> Here Jesus is saying, that's like saying, hey, man, go down on the corner, you see a Cadillac. It got a key in the ignition. I want you to go. It's sitting up there in front of that house right down the street. Come on. Go drive it away and bring it to me. And if any police stop you, yes, tell them that the master has need of the automobile. Come on, well, you and the master both going to jail, right? 
Now, did you, excuse me. Was Jesus telling his disciples, go steal the horse? Steal the donkey? No. He was talking about the law of use. 